a few years ago when i was new in the field of tech and i was new to coding i was facing a lot of issues while i was trying to learn a new technology one of the main reasons for that is that i don't have a degree in computer science or no degree for that matter and because of that i used to feel that the field of tech is very overwhelming and it is also very competitive as we already know now i was doing my part i was spending a lot of time in trying to learn new technologies and new frameworks but i felt like i wasn't getting anywhere despite spending countless hours watching random youtube tutorials just to understand how a technology or a framework works i felt like i wasn't able to grasp the concept in the way i wanted to and whenever i used to build something on my own like without the help of any tutorial or anything whenever i used to build something on my own i wasn't able to build it like i wasn't able to apply the concepts into the things i was building After a few months of learning I called up some of my friends who were already in the field of tech and I asked them to take some mock interviews from me Now when I used to give these mock interviews I felt like I wasn't confident about the things I've learned and whenever they used to ask me any standard questions any standard questions that any recruiter or any interviewer would ask in any interview that you give I was going completely blank So if you're going through any of that too it's completely normal at some point of time we all have been there Now if you are also going through any of those issues that I've just mentioned then this video is for you where I'm going to share a simple trick with you that is going to help you learn coding fast and it is also going to help you in cracking interviews do make sure to watch this entire video because this is a short one this time and also just for your reference this video does not include any tips or tricks on dsa like how to learn how to practice how to crack dsa rounds and in interviews but if you are interested in that do let me know in the comment section below and i'll make sure to create one video next week now without any further ado let's just dive into the main stuff Hi, I'm Apurv Goel, a software engineer who didn't get a degree. I have been working in the field of software engineering since a very long time and being someone who didn't get a degree myself at one point of time I was directionless too. Now when it comes to tech, there are a lot of resources to learn a new technology or a framework, right? There are a lot of documentations available, you know, there are a lot of videos available, there are a lot of YouTube channels and there are a lot of courses as well, right? So we all pick something up that is as per our convenience right some people like to you know read documentations and learn from it and uh, some people like to watch videos watch some tutorials on youtube so we all have our preferences right now when you go through any of these resources you get a basic idea about that technology and there are plenty of jobs in each and every technology that is there both in mncs as well as startups and uh, in today's time they are also not worried about if you have a degree in computer science or not but the major problem that comes into picture is the implementation of what you have learned in real life so there are two scenarios when it comes to that the first scenario is when you start building something on your own right so it could be a small project and while building that project it could be that you get stuck somewhere in some problems or things like that but you can always look up to the web to you know find solutions to the problem that you're stuck at now this is the best way to learn because these bugs teach you a lot of things and they force you to find the solutions to your problems on your own something that you also have to do when you are doing a job right it helps you in understand and learn the concept in a much better way as well as you are becoming job ready at the same time because you're solving your problems on your own you're looking up to their solutions on the web by yourself but it's a little inconvenient right i mean you still feel directionless to some extent and uh, when you start building a small project you might get some questions like you know how do i start this project or uh, you know what if i get stuck somewhere so you you start getting all of these questions and you you know start developing a fear to you know build a project by yourself that is the point when you start looking for tutorials you know complete tutorial on how to build facebook or complete tutorial on how to build youtube instagram netflix things like that now you start watching these tutorials thinking that you are being productive you know you are actually learning something as well as implementing it and you start building the same thing that they are teaching Now let's start deep diving into this approach. If let's say you while building this application you get stuck somewhere after looking at the tutorial. Most of the times you wouldn't even bother to look at your look at the solution to your problem that you're stuck at on Google or on the web somewhere. But uh, you'll directly refer back to the tutorial. You know, you'll just check out the video and see ah this is what I was missing and you you would just go back to your code and just code it up, right? So it's like you're being spoon-fed 
through that tutorial right you watch that tutorial you you try to build what it is teaching you you go back you try to code it and if you get stuck somewhere you can always refer back to the tutorial right you have the entire solution available to you now i'll tell you what happens after that right you think that you've learned the concept but if you actually try to build something similar to what the tutorial has taught you you won't be able to build that now the projects that you have built this way if you add these projects into your portfolio and go for an interview the recruiter is definitely going to ask you some questions about this project and when they do you are going to go blank why because it is a copied project in a sense since the solution code was always already available in front of you through the tutorial and you're not confident about it since you didn't build it yourself instead if you want to learn something and if you want to learn it fast there's no harm in watching youtube tutorials but don't just build exactly what they're teaching you right try to build something that is similar to what they're teaching you so if they are teaching you how to build a facebook it's a complete tutorial on how to build facebook try to build instagram right or if they are teaching you how to build a youtube platform a complete tutorial on that try to build netflix instead don't just build facebook or youtube right try to build something which is similar to what the project is trying to teach you what the tutorial is trying to teach you this way if you get stuck somewhere you won't have the option to refer back to the tutorial that was trying to teach you something since you are building a different thing you know something similar but not exactly that so you you won't have the option to refer back to the tutorial and it will force you to understand the concept better you know research about it and find the solutions to it yourself right whatever problems you are stuck in you have to find your solutions yourself and in the process you would be understanding the concept in a much better way now let's assume that you watched a tutorial on how to create youtube but instead you chose to create netflix right you add this project into your portfolio and go for an interview this time when the interviewer asks you anything about the project first of all you would be more confident about the project why because you built it entirely by yourself right you you know the ins and out of the project and secondly you would be able to explain the project in a much better way to the recruiter right you would be reflecting a lot of confidence to the recruiter and this is very essential when you are giving an interview when you are learning something you should be confident about it and this is the confidence that the recruiters are looking for because if you are not confident yourself then how will the recruiter be confident about hiring you how would the recruiter be confident that if they give you some task after hiring you you would be able to complete that right so in the earlier scenario when you built exactly what the youtube tutorial was teaching you right you felt like you learned something but it's still not helping you in clearing any interviews and if you try to build something similar you won't be able to do that but this time since you opted to build something that is similar to what the youtube tutorial is teaching you but not exactly that you would be much more confident you would understand the concepts in a much better way and you would be able to explain this entire project to the recruiter and you would be able to answer any question regarding this project right so it's a win win situation right you actually got to learn something out of the tutorial that you invested so much time in while watching and you could actually you know clear interviews based on that right now to summarize this for you always start with the technology rather than directly jumping into the frameworks so let's say if you want to learn react js or node js or next js start with javascript first right if you want to learn flask or django start with python first right because if you don't know these languages first you are not going to be able to understand how the dynamics of those frameworks work in the first place and uh, instead of learning the actual things that those frameworks are you know you have to learn in those frameworks instead of actually focusing on that you would be more stuck on the syntax of those things of those languages right if you are let's say willing to get into front end then start by learning html css right so that's how it should be that is the very first point of how you can learn a new technology and get into a domain fast and uh, secondly if you are a newbie or if you are trying to learn something if you are watching something some tutorial and trying to learn from that don't just exactly build what the tutorial is teaching you but try to build something which is similar to that so that you understand the application of the concepts that you are learning and uh, you have a very in depth you know understanding and knowledge about it and you can you know solve your problems yourself since you you, you would then start developing the habit of you know searching for those problems and finding solutions by yourself on the google or on stack overflow or whatever it is i'm saying this because i know a lot of 
the students that I have encountered while you know in in my journey of creating this YouTube channel. I know a lot of students you know who watch these YouTube tutorials and uh, they try to build exactly what they are teaching you. And this is one of the major you know roadblocks in their learning that whenever they get stuck, they can just refer back to the tutorial without even trying to find the solution to the problem. And this is a very bad habit. Now I created a video on the types of engineers that companies want to hire so that would give you a better insight on what the industry is demanding at this point of time from an engineer from a job ready engineer so you can go check out that video the link to that video would be in the description below and I'm also starting a boot camp of my own in which I would be focusing more on the hands on learning and building a product end to end right the roadmap for that boot camp is out already and uh, the bootcamp itself would start in a week or two. So in the meantime, you can go check out the, you know, the roadmap of for that bootcamp. Again, the link for that video would also be in the description below. Now this bootcamp would be entirely free of cost and it would be available on my YouTube channel. And it would also contain a lot of notes, assignments, as well as competitions, some hackathons too later on in time with a lot of exciting prizes. And, uh, through these, you know, competitions and assignments and hackathons, my objective is to make your grasp on the concepts a lot stronger. So if you want to become a web developer, doesn't matter what stream you are from. If you are from a non-IT field like commerce or arts, or if you don't have a degree, you are a college dropout, or it doesn't matter how old are you, but if you want to become a web developer, you can go check out those videos, uh, the link to those videos would be in the description below and i think that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one